So we are back with Blender. We have already created a scene with few objects placed together. And our camera is here. We will learn how to animate the camera, or how to move the camera following a particular path. Let us first verify our camera view and position the camera correctly. If you are not familiar with the controls here, I made another tutorial on that. The link is in the video description. Once the camera angle looks perfect, close the camera view. Now press number 7 on the number pad to go to the top view. We want to move our camera along this direction. We are on frame 1. So let us insert key frames for the current location of the camera. Now go to say, frame 100. Enter. We have to move our camera to some distance in this direction. Again we need to insert key frames here. Now to verify the movement, go to the start frame and play the animation. We can see the camera is moving as we planned. So far so good. But we need to verify the scene through the camera view, because ultimately, that is what we get in the blender output. But unfortunately, this does not work as the objects are going out of the frame as the camera moves. This happens because the camera angle does not change while it moves along the path. We need the camera to always look to our objects. Let us identify one specific object as the target object for our camera. We will take this small cube at the top. Let us first check its name from the outliner panel. So this is cube 10. We need to add one constraint parameter for the camera from the properties editor on the right. Please go to this constraint tab. Then select the constraint type from this drop down. Select track to constraint. Now in the target field, select the object cube 10 that we decided earlier. And we are done. Now go to the camera view, and play the animation once again. The camera now keeps looking at the target object while it moves along the path we defined. This looks impressive. But sometimes we may need more complex movement of the camera. It may not be just two separate locations. We may need to move the camera in a circular path, for example. So let us add one curve object now. We will add a bezier curve. It is very small in size. So let us scale it up by pressing shortcut S then 20 and hit enter on the keyboard. Let us change the position of the curve little bit. And then let us also tilt it by changing the rotation values. Looks good. But let us edit the curve to give it an even better look. In place of the bezier curve, you can also add a circle, if you want to move the camera in a circular motion around our target object. Okay, so we are done with the curve editing. Now back to the object mode. Let us move it up a bit, somewhere around this. Okay looks cool. Now we need to add a different type of constraint to the camera. So that it moves along this curve. But before that, let us clear all the keyframes. So right click here and select clear keyframes. Then one very important step. We need to reset the location values for the camera. We can either manually edit them or press Alt-G on the keyboard. It will reset the values. Finally go to the constraint tab. Delete the track to constraint, we will add it later. Add a follow path constraint. In the target field, select the bezier curve that we have added. Forward axis minus Z and Y should be selected as the up axis here. Next, select the follow curve option and click on animate path to enable the animation. Now it is time to add back the track to constraint that we deleted a while ago. And in the target field, select our target object cube 10. And we are done. One more thing to check. For this curve, we can set the animation duration as we wish. For that, go to the curve tab here. Go to the path animation section below. Here we have 100 frames now. Let us enter 200 frames as the length of the animation. Perfect. Now let us go to the camera view. And play the animation to verify our final result. The camera moves along the curved path while focusing on the target. That's all for today. So far we have worked with black and white objects. In the next tutorial we will add colors to our scene. Thanks for watching.